15 years ago, I introduced a bill into the House of Commons to ban smoking in cafes and restaurants because of the effect of secondhand smoke on the health of uh, customers and workers. 10 minute rule bill, Mr. Gareth Thomas. Thank you, uh, Mr. Deputy Speaker. I beg to move that leave be given to bring in a bell to prohibit smoking in cafes and restaurants and for connected purposes. And that bill was one small part of a much bigger campaign to ban smoking in public uh, places to try and stop secondhand smoke from ruining so many people's lives. Long standing evidence from the British Medical Association, for example, estimates that at least a thousand people die from exposure to secondhand smoke each year. That secondhand smoke is a cause of lung cancer, coronary heart disease, and strokes in adults, as well as cot death, middle ear disease, respiratory infections, and the development of asthma in children. Just 30 minutes exposure to secondhand smoke is enough to reduce blood flow into the heart. The most recent analysis of the impact of secondhand smoke on health uh, estimates the number of deaths each year in the UK from secondhand smoke at some 12,000, a figure comparable to the numbers who died as a result of the Great London smoke some 50 years ago, greater too than the 10,000 occupational deaths in the UK annually, and triple the 3,500 current annual number of deaths from traffic accidents. So increasing the number of smoke-free environments then is clearly sensible, protecting as it would do the health of, of non-smokers, and by making, by making smoking less of a social norm, it can only help current and potential smokers fight their addictions. Fifteen years on, evidence from the University of Stirling suggests that over 90% of second-hand smoke has been eliminated, and that is a fantastic uh, health benefit to so many people across the UK. My bill, I suppose, is one small example of the difference that you can make as a Member of Parliament using the processes in Parliament to help those national campaigns make a difference and, in this small instance, improve people's lives for the better. But I want my honourable friends and right honourable friends on the front bench to go just a little further, however. 100 Members of Parliament from all parties, and I'm grateful to them for their support have indicated to me that they do support this proposal. Indeed. A ban on uh, smoking will not harm restaurant and cafe owners' incomes. It may even increase their sales and reduce their costs. This is surely a sensible public health measure to protect the health of British workers and the public more generally. I commend the bill to the House. Yeah. Yeah. The question is